That will cause the stock market to sell off. It'll cause interest rates to uh, rise. And of course, if we have rising interest rates, that's going to send down the technology stocks, which will make the overall indices go down even further. So that could be calamitous. Stock market and in investing stuff aside, uh, there's this increasing concern about like, what if we can't, you know, from, from the government, what if they can't reach an agreement about this debt ceiling thing that, that seems to be looming over our heads. And, you know, we could, there's a little bit of fear mongering happening in the media too, about what if we default, what if America defaults on their loans just across the board in, in June, what are your expecting, uh, what are your expectations as to what's going to happen? What do you think will actually happen? Uh, what's likely to happen? And um, what what can we do? What can we expect to change if, if, you know, best case scenario, worst case scenario? Obviously, we're hoping for the best. But if we have to prepare for the worst, what do we have to look out for? Well, um, look, my again, like any other pundit that you might see in a podcast or a video or television, um, my view is, and I think most people would agree, that when you're in the middle of a negotiation, Democratic Party versus Republican Party, that the best way to negotiate is to do it at a time when you feel you have an advantage. Right now, I both sides of the aisle feel they have an advantage. And their advantage is that they could blame the other party if in the event that the nation defaults and does not raise the debt ceiling. What that ultimately means is it will go down to the wire to the end of June. The There is no particular exact date when we know that we won't meet our debt um, obligations. However, recently Janet Yellen pointed out that, that it could occur as early as the beginning of June, June 1st, which means this is why, which means that they must negotiate or at least start. And as we saw, they started the other day and now they're again they'll talk with no by the way movement each side came in stubborn good way to start think of the way labor groups work with um, businesses they start with their demands they both get mad at each other and they walk away and they just at least agree to come back we know they're going to meet again on friday here's what happens though at the end of the day it'll go down to the wire we may for a while like we did in 2019, if everybody remembers, we did not raise the debt ceiling in time and the government was forced to lay off people. When the government lays off people, it does cause the markets to have more volatility and that volatility generally will be to the downside, which means the market could start to sell off if, as we get closer to the end of uh, May, which is just in two weeks, because it's fear that, hey, no um, uh, progress has been made in these kind of negotiations. And so they're going to anticipate there's a problem and that will sell the market off. The market also has that as a ceiling and a lid to keep it confined in the short run as well. That's another reason why the market has so much trouble really rallying, even though it always feels like it's up. But in the end, if there is no agreement on the debt ceiling, it does mean default. There will be government layoffs. They always start with the lowest level of government, which means guess who that is? It's the lawyers. It's the lawyers and U.S. attorneys and certain kind of non-necessary um, or least necessary functioning of government will be shut down first. You will not see, it, some of those could be literally from the just U.S. attorneys to assistant attorneys, all the way into the administration that helps them. So they will stop the legal side first, and then they'll go into other degrees of government um, that they feel are more superfluous than others. That will cause the stock market to sell off. It'll cause interest rates to uh, rise. And of course, if we have rising interest rates, that's going to send down the technology stocks, which will make the overall indices go down even further. So that could be calamitous at the very least, and it could be a disaster at the very worst. So I do agree with all parties that if this happens, it's unacceptable, but it, I actually feel it will go all the way to the end. And there may be a few days where the, there's no agreement that will be reached 
forcing both sides to give and finally compromise. There's no shortage of drama when it comes to None. Uh, this kind of stuff. I feel like sometimes like the news is is a uh, is a scripted fictional show sometimes the way that the way that the drama builds up. Um, but it, it is it is crazy. Obviously, I don't want to make light of a very serious situation, but uh, but don't worry, everybody. We, we're still here for the AI circles. We'll be back in two weeks and we'll have uh, we'll, we'll continue to include this as part of our discussion because it does impact all of our investments and just our general general lives right and so this is a very important part of the discussion and we're absolutely going to continue to be uh make make it a part of it